I have to confess that La Mer, initially, when I was a music student, I did not like it. I did not understand it. To me, when I was listening to Debussy La Mer, I loved Debussy in general, but when I would listen to La Mer, I heard only rocks. I heard only nothing fluid. It was all solid. So I didn't really get how it could be a picture of the ocean. I think it took a performance by Charles Dutois with the Montreal Symphony to really convince me and make me all of a sudden understand the poetry about it. It's not only the reflection of the, the sun and the sky on the surface of the sea. It's also very much about the inner world, what's under the surface. Also, when I read more about the piece and understood that it was composed with in mind uh, the English sea, so it's not about the turquoise water, it's more about a gray and sometimes threatening uh, aspect of the sea. The way I conceive La Mer now is much more like a symphony, much more like three movements related with a narrative, something which has a real dramatic curve the introductory uh, first movement with, it, with it, its wonderful apotheosis at the end, the second movement which is in three, so like a scherzo with all the fish, and the last movement very um, dramatic with uh, the bigger waves and the splash. Uh, it's a very complex work to conduct and to play because before we can get to that poetry, we have always to give a lot of attention to the inner detail, the accompaniment figures, and all the complex rhythms, and much more, much, very much like the painting of a, a Impressionism painting, it's, it has to be so framed and detailed and organized before we can erase it a little bit and that it becomes this wonderful poetry and impression of the piece. I wish I would conduct it, but I'm actually very happy to leave this to my friend Robin Ticciati, who is developing a great rapport with this orchestra and also the rest of the program being very interesting. I think it will shed a new light on this wonderful masterpiece.